Hi, I'm Jason Foster, 42 years old. I'm going to be answering some 40 questions for you today. What's your philosophy in life? We are a, a big creation that God made. Where our molecules and particles make up the human body. The body has bone skeleton. And people believe that we're originated from ape. If you look at my face, my nose, my forehead, I look like an ape. What's the one thing you would like to change about yourself? I'd like to change this brain injury, not to have brain injury, because doctors and my stuff didn't give me blood transfusion fast enough and gave me the brain injury. Are you religious or spiritual? I feel like I'm both, whether just an inspector or a little bit. Because I saw things in my life that can't be disclaimed, and I seen ghosts in my life when I was thinking, sleeping and being awake in my room when I was moving from place to place in group homes. Do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert? I know what that question is. I don't comprehend that. I'm sorry, but I miss me. Which parent are you closer to and why? My mom. My mom was always there for me when I was growing up, not for my brother. What was the best phase in your life? The best phase in my life was living with my mom. Being I grew up for four. Four years and a half meant a lot to me. I'm still out of the loop right now. I live on my own right now. I wait for my mom, sitting on my own two feet. What was the worst phase in your life? The worst phase of my life was the first time I went to a mental hospital at age five when I tried to kill myself when I was five years old with a razor, cut my tongue off. I went to Bradley Hospital and that's where I saw you and such abuse when life fucking fell apart. Is what you're doing now what you always wanted to do growing up? You can't be happy. People think they can be happy in life with themselves. You can't escape yourself and you can't escape your soul. Maybe I want to do something else in life right now, like what I'm doing right now in my life, but it's still a good life. What makes you feel accomplished? When I lived in Waterville, I owed those two times. My brother said I could never live on my own again. My mom said I could never live on my own again. But look at me now, I'm on my own for about two or three years. I'm on my own doing pretty good and doing the right thing. What's your favorite book slash movie of all time and why did it speak to you so much? I felt 20,000 leaves underneath a two was a good movie. And that was my favorite book of all time, 20,000 leaves underneath to see about Captain Nemo and the big squid and, and the big sub. It's kind of like trying to get away from yourself. You're trying to get away from yourself. And the squid, the, the monster that lives inside you that dry, brings us down. What is a relationship Deal breaker for you. Basically having sex with a woman. I don't trust females because one time I had a girlfriend that cried an ape on me and tried to get me in trouble with the law. I don't trust females anymore. I might trust prostitutes because they do it for a living and that's for a job. They can't get me in trouble. That's how I truly feel. Are you more into a woman's looks or her brains? 
basically the lungs and the brains. If a, girl, a woman has good brains and, and, and good lungs, it's everything you need. But if a woman's ugly and not that attractive, they can still have brains, but people don't see the beauty and the beauty of them. Would you ever take back someone who cheated? No. Why do you feel like someone cheated? How do you feel about sharing your password with your partner? I don't understand what that means. It means as if you were like in a relationship are you okay with letting your girlfriend have your password or your boyfriend have your password? Okay, I understand. I'm sorry. No, I want to give it to love because they can probably still rub me off and we think. Take my money and rob me. When do you think a person is ready for marriage? You need to, when I feel like someone's ready for marriage is if they truly love each other and stuff and they're not having sex right away. You just wait to see if you're compatible with each other and see if you can, if you guys, if you guys should rush into sex in the relationship because it can make everything too iffy, too touchy, confusing. What kind of parent do you think you will be? I think I'd be a pretty good parent for had a kid. Raise them better when I was ready to put them where you use a belt on them, where you use a handle or switches or anything, cotton hoses. Probably never have kids, but I always wanted to have kids, but I don't have no one right now in my life to be with trust enough to have kids with him. What would you do if your parents didn't like your significant other, as in your boyfriend or your girlfriend? Do what they tell me to do. Break up with them is the only more family happy about people please it basically. Like making people happy. Who is that one person you can talk to about anything? I don't have anyone in my life I can do that with. I don't feel like. And I think it's kind of sad. It's kind of lonely when I can't do that sometimes. Do you usually stay friends with your exes, as in your ex-boyfriends or your ex-girlfriends? I would like to stay in touch with my ex-girlfriend, but I lost a number and I had no way to contact her. I was looking for her for a long time in my life to go back out with her, but I could never find her, so I started giving up and I gave up the hope of being with her. Have you ever lost someone close to you? My girlfriend. So that, so as in, have you ever lost someone close to you? That would mean, um, did they, uh, as in, um, did they die? I was like, you know, my dad, my dad died. And that he was close to you, you and him were close? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I know you were saying, I just wasn't thinking. If you are in a bad mood, do you prefer to be left alone or have someone to help cheer you up? Depends on the kind of mood I'm in. The bad mood could be a mood that I need to be left alone by everyone. Typically to fuck off, but most of the time I like hanging around people when I'm in a bad mood because they cheer me up all the time when they need to lift me up. What's an ideal weekend for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, my ideal weekend is smoking weed, getting high, eating food, getting the munchies. That's my ideal weekend. 
What do you think of best friends of the opposite sex? As in, like a guy and a girl being a f friends. Uh, I don't honestly know what that means. You don't know what that means? No, I don't mean. What do you think of best friends of the opposite sex? As in, a guy and a girl being a friend. What do you think? Do you think that's like an okay thing? That it should be allowed? Or do you think that they... They shouldn't be allowed to be friends? They should be friends. So guys and girls should be? Friends. They should be allowed to be best friends? Yeah. Do you judge a book by its cover? I didn't judge books by cover until I find out what they truly really are. I give people benefit doubts and chances until they prove me otherwise that they're bad people. Are you confrontational? As in, do you like confrontation? No, I don't like confrontation. But my mom does. She like she fights with me all the time. When was the last time you broke someone's heart? I honestly don't remember when I broke someone's heart in my life. Do you know if you did ever break someone's heart? No. You don't think that you have? No. Would you relocate for the woman or man that you love? As in, would you move somewhere else for someone that you are in love with? It probably wouldn't be because I worry about getting kicked out and be homeless again. Is that the only reason? Yeah. Did you ever write or have a journal? Write in or have a journal? I never had a write or never had a journal either. So you never wrote in a journal no. and you've never had one? No. What are you most thankful for? I'm most thankful for my life, living every day, and waking up every day, and breathing every day, and having another day to live to see my family and my friends. That's what it really means a lot to me in life. My family and friends mean a lot to me. That's what keeps me living. Do you believe in second chances? What do you mean by that? Like second chances in a relationship, like with a significant other or second chances in life, like someone wronged you and you feel like you should give them another chance to show that they're a good person and that they won't wrong you again. I give too many chances. So, would you say that you believe in second chances? Yes. What's the one thing that people always misunderstand about you? I'm not very really retarded thing. I am pretty smart, but my brain injury holds me back. What I can do in life sometimes, and my brain misfires. It's part of brain injury. So is that what people, you think that people misunderstand about you? Yeah, they think I'm a retard and think when I'm really not that retarded and more smart than I really look. What is your idea of a perfect vacation? Vacation. <laughs> Really well, the perfect vacation when I was young. I went to Alcat, set on some Peach Dragon and Toy Story, and it's a small world after all. It's a small, 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 small world. That one is kind of funny. I mean, that was the best vacation I've been to Disney World. So that's your perfect, your idea of a perfect vacation? Yeah. What did your past relationship teach you, as in your past relationship with a man or a woman? Nothing. So you didn't learn anything at all from your past relationship? No. What are your thoughts on online dating or dating websites or applications like Tinder? I feel dating applications are very dangerous because you can get a fish, a guy, and tell the woman, a woman, the dangerous. That's how I feel, it's very dangerous. You know what's out there when you're going on the web and surfing the web.
What's on your bucket list this year? I'm bucket list this year is hopefully moving out and get my own apartment somewhere else to set this up just a sit by the room. I don't like rooms. I feel like the walls are closing in on me all the time. So that's the only thing that you want to do before you die? I felt that that's pretty much it. And maybe go ahead and hang out with my family for a little bit. When have you felt your biggest adrenaline rush? When I got jumped on the south side of Boston, that said, big adrenaline rush when I messed all the people up there with that jump man. What is the craziest thing you've ever done and would you do it again? Oh yeah, I remember now. One of 15 years old, I had a quad, okay guys? I'm like, ing, 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 ing. And I was drinking beer and alcohol and took a lot of weed and all get some effort and shit and high as fuck. I got my quad, and there was a hill about that high up, and it went across over the air. I drove up the up the hill like this. I gunned it, begged for forgiveness, my sins, and gunned it. And I flew fifty feet over the cliff, over the over the over the. Over the land, and I was up in the air, and I smashed, and I crashed, and I almost got myself killed. Cut the, the quad fell on top of me, and the yesterday was coming out, and the engine lit up. I remember that the same man. <laughs> you do that again? Yeah. If a genie granted you three wishes right now, what would you wish for? <laughs> My first wish is the genie out of the lamp is to have all the weed in the whole entire world. My second wish is to change my whole life, my whole life, for my family to be there more for me, like my brother and shit, and my sister. And my last wish is to live forever and never die. What is your biggest regret in life? I'm past on this one. It's past. Sorry. What do you think about when you're by yourself? I want to fuck up everything and life sucks and sometimes I want to die basically. That's what I think about sometimes if you really want to know. Thank you Unapologetically Positive. For having these 40 questions that I can answer. This is Jason Foster. Thank you for watching the documentary. Please subscribe if you like. Comment where the bell is. Please subscribe as much as you can. Hope you enjoy it. It meant a lot to me to do the documentary. Sorry for not answering a couple more questions. It just, I, I just have demons in my closet to deal with. I just, still, it's just it's helpful to have other people to get their life back on schedule and back on. Good seasons with a family and friends. Please subscribe and hit this bell. Thank you.